So I wanted to show you this. So CNN's going to have Trump on Wednesday, right? They're going to have a, a town hall. CNN says Trump will participate in a CNN town hall next week, marking his first appearance on the news network in years. He's banned. He was banned from Twitter up in, up until five seconds ago. Well, that won't make CNN money him on but, Twitter, right? But now CNN's going to have him on their news book. Which again, I applaud CNN for doing that. Of course, they should interview a guy who's running for president, who's a former president, and who's polling. I'm sure in. Uh, so of course they should cover it, and of it's, course they should try to get some ratings once in a while. Right, once in a while. <laughs> So, uh, Mehdi Hassan doesn't like it. You know, Mehdi, the liar uh, that we, we've, we've exposed as a, of a phony. He says, wow, they're giving a live primetime platform to an indicted insurrection insider who also incited violence against their network. I was asked multiple times by my recent book tour whether the U.S. media had learned lessons from 2016 and 2020. Clearly, some in our media have not. <laughs> oh, Mehdi, he's the best. Isn't he? Um, Oh, you, you wondered if they had learned. First of all, who asked him if they had learned lessons? I don't believe anyone said that I don't believe him. anyone asked him that question. <laughs> not one person, because we all know the answer is no, not one the, of them. No, the lesson that they learned was to censor more. Yeah, unless, unless you can. Which is a bad lesson. Yeah, well, of course. And, and, to, and to the lesson they learned was to repeat uh, CIA and FBI talking points breathlessly without criti criticism. That's the lesson. That's what Mehdi Hassan does. Yeah. Well, they also miss having Trump to broadcast. Yes, so okay. CNN is going to have. So a he's reunion. upset that they're not putting him on MSNBC. That's what I, that's what I was going to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Keith Oberman. Oh God. <laughs> this guy is a gift. This guy is a gift. This guy is out of his mind. And, uh, Good to see that him and Kathy Griffin shop at the same eyeglass place. But uh, I don't know if Kathy wears colored glasses. I just pulled it out of my ass. Uh, uh, Nathan Lane, how about that? I know you bet you know he wears a pair of those. Here we go. The transformation of CNN into a journalistic whorehouse is now complete. <laughs> Matt yeah, they were great until this one moment. Up until now, CNN was doing some integrity filled stuff, just like MSNBC, Keith. Well, back in the Brian Stelter days, yeah. when they were really doing the real hard journalism. Now, corporate news sucks. Before, they were great. <laughs> Here we go. President Chris Lick not only hands Trump a free hour of live propaganda dressed up as a town hall. By the way, what is this shit on his lip? Like Have you noticed this? Yeah. Is he is is he, he, he is he coking and the coke? No, he missed a spot shaving. That's his but the only questions will come from voters in the New Hampshire Republican primary, the ones who believe Trump won the election. Worse yet, Chris Lick bribed Trump because Trump agreed to let CNN fillet him. CNN will reportedly put on more Trump campaign surrogates in the months to come, and it's not just CNN. Last month, Trump boy, he's upset. CNN's going to cover the news. There's a guy running for president who might become president, and CNN are going to interview those That's people. That's bad journalism. You They're, only interview people I like. You're only supposed to interview people we like, and you're supposed to censor everybody else. This is his, what he's upset about, is that CNN plans on covering the leading candidate for president in the Republican Party. That's what he's upset about. Oh, This, this is, is like, this is Himmler shit, man. This is Goebbels stuff. This is crazy. Uh, this is that guy in Rwanda who was like, cut the tall trees. That's what he is. This is this is unbelievable. But this and they think they're the good guys. He thinks he's a good guy. He's, on his, he's fighting fascism. He thinks. What is, does he have his own channel? Like, what's his? No, following? he just does a podcast now. Oh. So he and he does he does videotapes like this in, in front of his wall, and then he tweets them out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Abused and threatened an NBC reporter, had him removed. Oh, and so here, listen, listen to what he says. Jim Acosta. This is what, just, this is what just happened to Trump. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Remember how they were upset that when Trump was rude to Jim Acosta? Now they're still upset that Trump. They're not upset that the Biden uh, his press secretary won't call on African Ameri African they try to ruin the guy's life is what they try to do. Try to take away his funding. They try to wreck him, and that Biden is currently trying to kill a journalist, the greatest journalist of our generation. He's he's upset about some NBC journalists we never heard. Watch this. Last month, Trump abused and threatened an NBC reporter, had him removed, and then threw the NBC reporter's phones. Why didn't we know about this until yesterday? 
Because it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, That's cause, why. Because nobody give gives a, a shit, shit <laughs> while you're while the guy you voted for is currently trying to execute the greatest journalist of our generation. That's why I don't give a shit that Trump kicked out a reporter. The guy's not president. Also, I don't believe your account. And I don't believe your account already. either. What happened? I don't even know what happened. I already know you're not telling how it happened. Yeah. Here we go. Because NBC didn't report it. Because Trump is also negotiating, letting himself be covered by NBC. So he's upset that the news channels are going to cover the news oh. that he doesn't because he doesn't personally like Donald Trump. And and so now anybody again, just like anybody's a grifter, if you don't like their opinion. And now he's saying the same thing about the news business. He's Which saying, they were to begin with. Of moron. course, they, they, he's acting like they're doing something different than they've always done. They, it turns out they care about money more than th anything. They gave Trump $2 billion in free coverage during the campaign, asswipe, and he knows that, but he did. But this is called deranged. This is called deranged. People actually listen to his podcast. This is called deranged. He's pretending like NBC is somehow breaking protocol by covering Donald Trump. That was how you guys all made money, covering Donald Trump. <laughs> Covered his empty podium rather than cover a speech by Bernie Sanders. CNN and NBC whore themselves out and sell journalism to Trump. Hear all that and more on the Tuesday Countdown podcast, available now wherever you podcast. Uh, unlike a whore. They whore. Unlike a whore. They, oh my he's God. Not using, he's not using Trump to get clicks at all. He's not using Trump hate to get clicks. The brought he? to you by Pfizer people are whores now. <laughs> he's not. He's not doing anything yeah. hoary at all. This is the. He's this, just like Jenk Uger. They're these guys who hate Trump the most are Trump. Donald, this guy has Trump in his shadow, and just like Jenk, and that's why they're so triggered by Trump. He's so triggered by Trump. He's upset that news organizations are going to cover the news. Does he edit this himself? He don't see the little bit of mustache on the side? How does he not see that? I'd be like, anyway. oh, geez, I got to shave it and do it again. Look at those eyebrows, too. What is it? What, at what age do you just stop giving a shit about your eyebrows? <laughs> I don't know. You think the carpets match the drape? I'm, <laughs> I'm serious, though. What happens to a guy? It's like after they turn 60, they just like, fuck, fuck it. Like, he still cuts the hair on the top of his head. I'm yeah. sure he still cuts the nose out of his ears or his nose and his ears. What is it about the eye? People, guys just like, let my eyebrows look like caterpillars. Who gives a shit? <laughs> um, does he have a girlfriend to help him? I don't think he has a girlfriend. Or a wife or something, no? <laughs> Remember Rick Overton's joke when I said that uh, that girl was was, bank, was fucking Keith Olbermann just to get a career at MSNBC? <laughs> and uh, I go, I don't, and I, I go, uh, the people are saying that's the reason that she's fucking him? And Rick Overton goes, what's the other reason? <laughs> 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 Watch my new comedy special, COVID Lies Are Funny, for only $10. Become a member at JimmyDoor.com. Hey, and we're going to be on tour in Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Coho's, New York, Hartford, L.A., Bakersfield, Baltimore, Rosemont, Chicago, and a lot more. Oh, and San Francisco being added very soon. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. See you there. <laughs> <laughs>